I am Rishab Kumar and welcome to my channel The Second Wind. In this video, I'm going to share on how to maintain your weight after weight loss. I'm going to show you a couple of images and I'm sure that you will relate to a few of them. Are you tired of getting food made specially for yourself with less carb, less oil, no butter? Do you curb your cravings for your favorite food items? Are you looking for that perfect diet plan that can allow you to eat everything? If yes, then look no further. Weight loss has turned out to be a huge industry and the credit goes to us. We're eating a lot more than we should. We are consuming products that we shouldn't be. And we are not giving enough rest to our organs. On top of that, we have these elaborate marketing campaigns and commercials tempting us in every step of the way. From the year 2000 until 2018, I think I may have been on a diet for almost half the time or maybe more. I did the diet, I lost weight. I went off the diet, I gained weight. And this just kept going on and on. All I wanted was to eat what I wished for, in moderation, and not bother about my weight gain. So the next time I visited my dietitian, I was advised to first lose the weight, get to the target, and then get onto a maintenance diet, which I did. But then I realized that I'm just a prisoner and I will never be able to get out of this cycle and will be stuck just forever. And you know, there is a saying, that one third of what we eat keeps us alive and two thirds keeps the doctors alive. That's exactly what I felt when my dietitian told me to get onto a maintenance diet. I could not see myself controlling or suppressing endlessly. And I definitely did not want to be on a maintenance diet for eternity. All I wanted was to satisfy my cravings, indulge a little and not worry about my weight gain or putting on those extra pounds by just eating a little here and there. So I started doing some reading on various platforms and I even asked around if somebody had found a solution or found a way whereby I could continue to eat what I wanted to and not gain weight. And since I refer to our scriptures very often, I was intrigued if Ayurveda had some sound advice to give. And I was amazed at what Ayurveda had to say. It suggested to eat just two meals a day with water in between, giving enough time for your body to digest and take rest. Isn't that something that we've already heard of? Yes, that's right, is the intermittent fasting technique. Our scriptures are thousands of years old, but their learnings and their advice is applicable even in today's lifestyle. It's very disheartening to see that our scriptures are being decoded by the West, our concepts have been coined into these fancy terms and then presented back to us. I just wonder when we can adapt our culture without the validation of the West. Anyways, I mentally prepared myself to getting onto this two meal regimen. But I had a few concerns. Will I be able to sustain through the day? What if I feel hungry in between? Will I have acidity due to these long gaps? Will I survive without tea or coffee and these small bites? I'm an active sports person, so will two meals suffice my energy needs? It is now recommended to eat less but eat often. Is the long gap unhealthy?
and coincidentally I came across a talk on YouTube by another doctor propagating a similar theory. He too advised having two meals a day with water in between and to also walk 25 kilometers a week. And the only hot beverage that he suggested was green tea. Not any flavored tea but just pure green tea. So I started this two meal plan with all my willpower. It was 30th November 2018 and I was just amazed with the results. I lost 15 kilos in 5 months, averaging 3 kilos a month. My skin got better, my hair felt great, my bowel movements got even better. I lost 4 inches on my waist and I had more energy than ever before. And all this by just eating 2 meals a day. The best compliment I received was that I was looking 7 to 8 years younger. And I give all the credit to our very own Ayurveda. It's been 3 years since my weight loss and I'm following the same principles of 2 meals a day. And I've easily managed to sustain my weight loss. I am extremely regular with my weekly workouts. I do not consume any energy drinks or energy bars. I do not add salt or electrol to my water while working out. And neither do I have whey protein, eggs or meat. I am a proud vegetarian and I sustain each day very easily. The highlight of this lifestyle is that I can eat anything I wish for. I do not have an avoid list and I certainly do not have a cheat day. Because I can eat everything. Sweets, desserts, chocolates, cheese, fried, ice creams and my favorite, Malai Kulfi. I have no cravings left to satisfy. I indulge more than I should and I do not have to bother about putting on those extra pounds. And let me share with you that I eat desserts after every meal. My HbA1c, my triglycerides, my cholesterol and all other parameters are very well in control. The four mantras which have helped me sustain my weight loss are I do not overeat, I stop eating when I'm supposed to, I eat just two meals a day and my weekly workouts are extremely regular. I hope this experience of mine was insightful. If you wish to take up this two meal plan a day but are not confident, then the only tip I would give you is to start with a three meal plan and then switch to a two meal plan once you're comfortable. If you need some further assistance, then feel free to connect with me in the comments below or you could even send me an email. Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. If you've liked this video, then please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, then please do. And do share this video with your social circles as well. I'm Rishabh Kumar and I will see you in the next video.